Right, boys and girls, here's a follow-up of the uh, the controller unit that, that I was using for the, the pickup winder or the pickup traverse. See, the wire comes up through there, goes up through that little servo, and then feeds onto the onto the bobbin there. And uh, this is what I was talking about the other week, where the, the, the left knob here controls the angle on the left hand side. The angle on the, on the right control for the angle on the right hand side and the speed controller. I'll just yeah, plug it in a second. Right, that's it. I've set I've set the um, the angles more or less to where I had them the other day, which is once that bobbin's speeding round, it should be like just hitting the left side and hitting the right side. I'm going to show you the, um, the, the speed control, if you turn the speed control up. There you can like, it'd be like a machine scatter wound. <laughs> but I, uh, having it right right down the bottom to start with really, don't mind. Uh, I'll set it down there as a slow speed that, the slow speed that I can get that going with it, it's all like juddering. I want to kick the wire there. So let's reset that because we want on this one we want 5,500 wines. So just wind that round a couple of times. Right, let's turn it on. Give it some welly. So you need to do really. You want it um, wound more on the on the top end. All you do is just turn down the the green, the you know the degrees on the left hand side, so it winds more to the right. So you get a real um, using it this way and, and, and setting it with a controller. You get a pretty even a, a pretty even. Um, wind on the on the bobbins. Like I said before, if you want a, a bit more centre loaded to slow the uh, slow the speed down on the bobbin and it tends to wind more in the middle. It's much easier than doing it by hand, I can tell you. And you're gonna get consistent uh, results on all the, all the pickups that the bill's doing at this point. So you've got the, the tension exactly where you want it. You've got the winding exactly, more or exactly where you want it. So we're on now, five, one thousand, six hundred. We'll swap it around. We'll swap it around 2000 and you can have a look at the, uh, the, the uh, winds on the, on the bottom. Yeah, that's, that's 2000, 2020 winds. And looking at this, it's, it, It's, it's slightly wound more to that left hand side so it's probably going over that left hand side a little bit too much so what we do is we just we we tweak our, our knob a little bit so it would be less degrees on the left hand side I You 
speed it up, speed up the, uh, the traverse as well. It should stick more in the centre. Starting to build up a bit more in the in the centre a little bit at one end anyway. Yeah, it's looking good. Is that one one? Five thousand five hundred. I hope it's got enough wire. An eye on that. I keep forgetting about the old counter. Okay. Uh, six hundred. Five five and a half. Four hundred and ninety-nine. Five. Right. We need to tape that up. We need to tape that up. Um, I ain't got a tripod, so I'm just going to uh, tape them wires down so they don't fly about all over the place when I take it off. And um, stick another bobbin on there because I want five thousand six hundred on the next one. So right, back in a sec. There we go, that's number number two on the go here. That one's down there, done the other one. We've got to get this one up to 5,600 in there. And see how I can do the pick up after that. So anyway, the battery's about to go in the camera, so thanks for watching. If you're interested in building one of these yourself, do a bit and pieces. There's a link in the description to the web page where I've listed all the parts. And I thanks for watching, I hope you like it, and I'll catch you later.